dog. Never fear, pets of Bartsville. Our far fit away. Commercial messages. Ooh, it's my favorite commercial. First pick out and fluff your pup. Would you like to build your own stuffed animal, dress it up, and take it home to play? I would love that. <laughs> well, you two look like you're having a good time. <gasps> oh, I had tons of fun with the toys in this box. But it's time someone else got to have fun with them. Ribbit. Look, Look what, what you, you get. did! Look, Look what, what you, you did! Oh, did you guys just ruin Ruff Ruff? Ruin who's what? Bob in his room with Ruff Ruff, Bob at the beach with Ruff Ruff, Bob at the... Just about everywhere he went with Ruff Ruff. Aww. Let's go! Design a dog today. Yay! Let's go! <laughs> First pick out and fluff your pup. Then you sew your puppy up. This Bring place is amazing! And come out there! One perfectly poofy pooch. Come on, Rolly. Let's take Ruff Ruff in there and make him perfectly poofy too. Ruff Ruff needs just enough stuff to stuff him up so he's stuffed. That's a lot of stuff for Ruff Ruff. Whoa! That's way too stuffed! Now it's time to sew this puppy up. But we're gonna need some kid power to do it. Chloe? Wow, that looks so good! <laughs> and there's just one more thing to do with this doggy, so follow me! When I go down, you go up. And when you go up, I'll go down. We're doing. I think we use too much bingo and rolly power. Sometimes bingo and rolly power can be a dangerous thing. And now it's time to get our doggy-looking dog-tacular. First, we get him clean. Then we give him some style. And we might as well get ourselves looking good too. Here comes the cleaning. I like that color. It matches my eyes. We did it, Rolly. Bob's toy looks as good as it ever did. Okay, it's time for the tea pup party. Everybody choose a stuffed doggy. Oh. Rolly, they think we're toys. Yeah, but they dressed us up so nice for their party, we should stick around, just to be polite. Pretend food? Let me tell you something. That's no party. And pretend tea? Drink your tea, fancy doggy. Go, go, go. Like the party's over. Yep. Oh no! What if she takes Bob's toy? What if we take it first? Faster, Rolly, faster! Oh no, I'm rolling too fast! Okay, everybody, have a good day! Bye bye! <laughs> <sighs> yep, Bob won't even know we took it out of the box. <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> Give me a minute before I say hello, okay? I just need to put this stuff outside. You're just giving this stuff away? To anybody who wants it. <gasps> I want it. Can I keep them, Mommy? Please? I'm glad I found someone to give Ruff Ruff to. Because I don't need a pretend doggy anymore. I have two of the best... Hot Opus! Ow. Move your paw, Rolly. Poking me in the stomach. That's not my paw, that's your paw. It is? Oh. What is it, Bob? <laughs> hey, where'd the doggy go? Oh, my computer. Oh, darn, it's broken. But at least I can look forward to seeing you two when I get home from work. Enjoy your nap, hissy. 
and the nap after your other naps. Wait, where'd it go? There it is. Where'd it go? There it is. Where'd it go? Watch it. Broly, did you hear what he said? Bob needs a pot of gold to fix his computer. And we can find one at the end of the rainbow. That's just a legend. What is? That at the end of every rainbow, there's a pot of gold. <laughs> Let's go find the pot of gold at the end of that thing. It looks like the rainbow ends behind that factory. But we know someone who does. Oh, sure. I know that factory. I collect stuff other people throw away. And when this friend of mine found plans for that place in the trash... See that ditch right there? You want to crawl through that to the front door. Then, when you're inside the factory, you're going to ride this conveyor belt through the assembly room. Stay out of trouble, and that pot of gold will be yours. Don't worry, Bullworth. Nothing is going to trip us up. Ah! Hello? Either the water's getting deeper or my legs are getting shorter. Stay down. I'm going to take a peek and see where that guard dog is. Is he gone? Yeah, and there's the front door, so come on. The next room? Here we come. Bingo? Why are you going that way? I don't... Uh, I've got you. Uh, uh, thanks for the paw. Anytime. Well, we said this next room is called the wrapping room. <laughs> These bubbles are wrapped around us so tight we can't walk. We've been bubble wrapped, and we're in trouble. Gotta pop these bubbles on the doggy double. We're bubble wrapped, and we're wrapped up tight. I'm twisting and turning. We did it, Rolly. We did it. Yeah, I just wish there was more bubble wrap for us to pop, because I could play with that stuff all day. <laughs> well, then, we're just going to have to pop all of it. Yeah! <laughs> they can put bubble wrap on every floor. But how are we going to get down the hallway without going poppity pop, pop, pop? We'll have to walk between the bubbles. Okay, Rolly. Your turn. <laughs> and now that we're in the back, we should be able to see... <gasps> Whoa! The rainbow in the pot of gold. Well, you back here. Dogs other than me aren't allowed back here. What do we do, Bingo? Mine, too! You a friend of Bolas? I am. I love how that guy collects stuff that's being thrown away. So when I found the plans for this factory in the trash, I gave them to him. Would it be okay if we took some of that gold home for Bob? Take whatever you want. It's all gonna be thrown out anyway. Hey, I should give some to Bullworth. We found the end of the rainbow and the pot of gold. Even though there wasn't a pot, but there was nothing but gold. Wait a minute. You mean there actually was something there? Must have fallen out of my computer this morning, but I didn't see it. Ha <laughs> ha! It works! But you know what? There aren't any dogs who are more special than you. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Your stick collection is huge! You know it. And it's gonna be even huger when we get that one. Almost! Almost again! <laughs> Feel better, Cloud. <laughs> That's just rain, Rolly. Rain? Oh, good! Guess what, Hissy? It's raining! Uh, I know. Whatever you do, don't... <laughs> Why is there a stick in my bed? It's a present for you. It's the first stick I ever collected. Oh, uh, thanks. Once again, I have saved Barksville from the world's worst villain. A bad dog. Can anybody help this hero? I can. Get some trees, beavers. <laughs> Cloud 
front side has a cough, too. <laughs> That's thunder, Rolly. So, you know how the beavers built that beaver dam for Captain Dog? You mean that thingy made of sticks that kept the Captain Dog headquarters from floating away? Exactly. Beavers. I meant beavers. Right. So our mission is to find a beaver to teach us so we can protect the doghouse for Bob. Ooh, it's gonna be an awesome adventure. We're super duper extra. Oh, we're really excited. We're going on a mission. Going on a mission. Five, four, three, two, one. Beavers! Any beavers around here? <gasps> There's one. A beaver? Come on, Rolly. With all the trees here? You'd think there'd be a lot more beaver. You're a beaver! You betcha I'm a beaver, and my name is Busy. I fell trees so fast, it'll make you dizzy. Wow, I'm good at chewing, but that was amazing! I'm great at spitting rhymes and chewing trees. I'll build a beaver dam. Any chance you can teach us? We know you're really busy and all. Hey, I may be busy, but the beaver creed is you always start to help a friend in need. So, I've been working around the clock. Wow, your stick collection is even bigger than mine. Oh, this isn't just a stick collection, puppy buddy. Why don't you guys knock down a tree while I get these logs in place? One tree coming right up. Wow. You know how beavers have those big teeth? Yeah, they're kind of hard to miss. Well, we have teeth too. Maybe we can chew down a tree like Busy. I love chewing on sticks. This tree's bark is worse than our bite. I thought it would have fallen over by now. Me too. How else can we knock down a tree? <laughs> the tree made me fall over instead. Have a nice flight? Yeah, but we couldn't chew down a tree after all. <laughs> no worries, puppy dog. Don't just throw them down willy-nilly. No, no, do the busy to beat the Chris house. Here we go. Chris, cross. Use your paws. Lay one stick over the other. I say Chris. Crossing's not just for fun. I'll tell you pups why specifically. When you take a bunch of sticks and stack them like this, you get maximum stability. Is it done? Not yet. The water is still leaking through right there. See? It's only a little leak. Then we'll help you find a stick that's a perfect fit. Got one! How about this stick? Well, thanks for showing us how to build a beaver dam. Now we've got to go build our own to save our doghouse. Thanks, Busy. Bye. Oh no, the rain got even rainier. Hurry, cross. Use your paws, like one stick over the other. He said it, Mike. You do. Pissy! <gasps> the stick? It's just water. I'm coming, puppies. It'll look like you needed this. We did need that. And look, we stopped the water. <laughs> <laughs> Pissy is all dry. Thanks, Arf. We put the sticks there, Bob. Yeah, we built a dam. <laughs> After it stops raining, what do you say we curl up on the couch and watch some Captain Dog? Captain Rolly! <laughs> There's only one dog who can save us now. But even a super pooch is no match for my flying saucer! <laughs> Don't worry, Rolly. Captain Dog isn't afraid of flying saucers. I can't watch. I, I can, but I can't. Oh, you know Captain Dog always saves the day. I wish I was Captain Dog. He's so brave, and he can... It's a big party for people and pets who love Captain Dog. I love parties. I love Captain Dog. <laughs> Uh, let me know. <laughs> Down to the wow, Bingo. Who's Rolly? I'm Captain Dog. <laughs> okay, Captain Dog. Check it out. All the pet owners here built this recreation of Barksville. Whoa, well, be careful, Stefan. You don't want to accidentally hit anything. Now for the surprise I was telling you about. For the teeny tiny monorail. 
There's even a contest for whoever built the best part of the city. <laughs> I really hope I win that blue ribbon. Make sure to protect my monorail. Oh, I hope I can win that contest. Did you hear that, Rolly? Bob needs us to protect a super amazing monorail. That sounds like a mission. You bet it is. Let's just hope nothing out of the ordinary happens while he's gone. <laughs> Stretchy supervillain is heading this way. And if he's not careful, he's gonna run into... Bob Monorail! All right, Captain Dog. Uh, I think my costume is broken. <laughs> Phew! <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Rolly and Bingo. You mean... Now! She's scary! Do we have to leave? Captain Dog? Captain Dog is brave. I'm brave. Get what? everyone out of here! Oh. Forget the train! Focus! Focus! Captain Dog! What are you doing? Saving the day! Great work today, Captain Dog! You saved us, Captain Dog! Have you ever thought of running for mayor? That was a brave thing you did, Captain Dog. Always come to the rescue! I was just an average pup, little bad guy from Captain Dog, who's always there to save us. Oh, help you, Susan! Captain Dog! Great work today, Captain Dog! Who put that building where I was flying? Captain Dog! We have to stop that building from falling under the monorail track! Bob's monorail is broken, and it's all my fault. It's okay, Captain Dog. We'll find a way to fix it. Oh, get away! Okay, we've got a monorail to fix. The real Captain Dog may be brave and can fly, but Rolly isn't brave and doesn't like flying saucers. I'm not Captain Dog. And he's the bravest brother in the whole world, who's always there when I need him. Come on, Captain Dog. Let's save Barksville and the... Watch Bob's chain is back on the track. Somebody help him. Oh, no! Bingo! No, I'm brave, just like Bingo said. <laughs> Did somebody holler for a hero in a collar? You can call me Captain Rolly. Well, looks like you guys had fun, and the monorail's still working perfectly. This spectacular model of the Barksville monorail. Congratulations. Do you hear that, boys?